Um, here with the Google Finance Android application, which was launched last night, March 2nd, on the Android market. Um, this is the first time I'm really going to open it. So, uh, looks like you open up and you get an Android Finance end user license agreement, uh, which probably has all. I sometimes go through and, read, through and read these, but being 6.45 in the morning or whatever, I'm just going to accept. Um, so you open the screen, it looks like there's three different tabs, markets, portfolios, and news. Um, there's a market summary, and um, let's see what menu button does. Get quotes, refresh, and settings. So this syncs with your Google, uh, your Google uh, account so if you have Google Finance your portfolio should be synced I do have a portfolio set up and I have a lot of the tech companies in here um, so it will show me the change in debt and you can see they're all at 0% probably because the market hasn't opened yet um, now there's also a news tab and I'm wondering if this is general news or news from well there's an auto sales in there it's not at the bottom yet um, so this is just general news it looks like from Google Finance. Let's see if we can search news. <clears throat> so I wonder if you can, let's try and go to Google and click on Google and see if we can get news just from Google. Um, yeah, and here we go, it's just Google Finance news about Google. Um, so it's a pretty handy app, especially if you're already using your Google Finance portfolio, or if you plan on making one. And Google Finance, Google or Yahoo Finance is really popular, but Google Finance should inc become increasingly popular for reasons like this: uh, the accessibility. Let's do a search and see how that works out. And do get quotes and a big quote or a big stock yesterday for all the wrong reasons was Blockbuster. So let's go ahead and search Blockbuster. And it says there's auto suggest. So there we go. Let's see if it'll come up. I'm not sure what the ticker is. And there it is, Blockbuster. Now there's two, it looks like. I'm not a stock guy, so I don't know what the difference between those two is. So I'll just select the first one. And there we go. Blockbuster closed at 22 cents. I heard yesterday was at 90, there we go, high, 98 cents. So this thing absolutely plummeted yesterday. And apparently there was rumors that it was going to bankrupt from at least what I saw on All Things D. Um, Fox Business, yeah, says they hired a fat firm for bankruptcy. So all this stuff right at the tip of your hands. I wrote a post about a year ago called, um, no, I can't even remember what it was called. Um, Android for day traders, I believe, talking about Google Finance's launch and how it was going to definitely appear on Android and, and would make you know day traders, stock traders, give them a really easy time, especially when they're not on the job or you know they're always on the job, so out and about um, making deals, trades, news, stuff like that, uh, a breeze. So a very simple application. That's the way I like them, quick, easy, down, dirty, does the job, does exactly what you want. Um, for people there that do have do have a lot of different stocks and, and check the market daily, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the application. Um, let's see, oh, there's some settings tab, let's see what this does. Continually update, whoops, default chart time period, so you can change that, it's pretty cool. Continually update price. That's probably going to waste some battery, um, but if you're really into stocks, it's probably what you need to do or want to do. You can check for updates about finance and the end user agreement. And here's the key contributors. Give them some props. Uh, it, special thanks to Google Finance team. Also, um, it looks like this was developed on Google's 20% time. So this is like an extra thing that some people at Google, these key contributors, probably made on their own time, which is a wonderful idea. So congratulations. The application looks good, guys. Um, and keep up the great work. So that is it. The Google Finance application for Android. It's on the Android market now. 
Um, thanks, guys. Talk to you soon.